kind of like the mood of the locker room right now. I mean, a couple of losses for you guys. You know, is it kind of an even kill? People are mad, or can you describe what's going on right now? Um, I think guys are excited to get back out there and play again. Um, you know, we let one slip away, and so um, you know the best remedy for that is to get out there again and, and right that wrong. Everybody um, leads and tries to take ownership of the situation in a, in a different way. And I'm kind of wondering how you guys, especially captain, sort of create a space where people can be vocal, as, as some people were last week, while also like making sure that that's productive. Um, I think at the end of the day, you gotta let people express themselves. Um, and you gotta let people kind of feel what they feel. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, you know, as leaders, you try to make sure that there's no separation with it, which there's not. And so, you know, I think there's so much confidence with everybody in the, in the, um, the organization that, you know, we can turn this thing around. And, you know, it's it's enough words. We have to go out and, and do it. And, you know, the first game is Arizona, and then we take it from there. What have you learned about Sean McVay as you guys have kind of gone through the ups and downs of the season? Um, just how positive he is. Um, obviously, he's... Um, you know, speaks his mind like everybody else, but I think the, the biggest day, the biggest thing is, uh, you know, he still provides that confidence for the guys in the building and still uh, provides that belief. And, you know, I'm confident that we, you know, figure this out. You said that uh, everyone in the organization is positive. Is that, can you expand on that a little bit more? Where's that coming from? Um, I think that's, you get positivity from um, the confidence you have in, in the people that's in the building. You know, um, when you look around, there's so many, talented guys, so many guys that have been through ups and downs way worse than this. And, um, you know, it just creates for another opportunity to, to do something special. When you hear that Matthew Stafford's in concussion protocol, is it hard not to think, what's next? No, no, I mean, it's part of the game. Been around for a long time, so um, injuries happen, things like that happen. And um, I'm pretty sure he's gonna, he's a warrior, gonna fight back and, and um, he's gonna be smart as well. We obviously don't know what the result of that through the week is going to be. But um, you guys, as a defense, have repped a lot against John Walford. Um, so what can you sort of tell us about where he's at and, and obviously your perspective of him as a guy who's new, relatively new to this year? Um, well, I mean, I saw him a, a few times um, in Seattle. So, you know, we know what he's capable of. He came down and you know, did a lot of great things against us when, when I was down there. So, you know, we have confidence in him that he's going to, you know, if he has to, he'll, he'll be able to step up. Does, if a player like Stafford is not available, does that put any more of an onus on you as a leader uh, if he's not if he's not around or, or you know being able to play? Do you have to kind of change your role at all in terms of being more vocal or whatever? No, nah, I think it's still the same thing. I think each week is you've been more, being more comfortable being vocal and things of that nature. So I don't think that mm -hmm. that stops. I think the you know my my job is to grow every week as a leader, and so. To me, if that's the case, it's just another opportunity to grow. I know that last Sunday wasn't the first time you've blocked a field goal in your career, but what was it like being able to contribute in that fashion? Um, it's fun, man. It's always when they give me an opportunity to jump over, um, you know, it's fun. They actually caught it out before the play, so I thought they was going to do something about it. But, hey, man, they fall. You mean the uh, Buccaneers called you out in terms well, of there he is. We have for sure because I've done it before. So they was like, hey, like he's right there, but I didn't do it like the first maybe two uh, field goal attempts. So you know maybe they forgot. <laughs> Stephens, at this time of the season, is it what are the challenges to turn things around? Um, I think the biggest thing is is very simple. You got to just win. I think winning starts um, you know a lot of things in motion. So uh, for us, we just got to focus on taking it one game at a time, making sure we have a great week of practice, and then, you know, come out and perform like we're capable of performing. I know you don't want to give away um, all your secrets on, on the play, but um, what, you know, kind of what goes into that in terms of timing the snap, and then you, you got to jump clean, I, I would yeah. assume, otherwise there's a flag. Uh, honestly, I just think, make sure I make it over, because if I fall on my face, I won't hear the energy. <laughs> <laughs> Especially these guys, they're, they're on the, that, that was really what I was thinking. If I don't make this jump, man, you guys are going to hear me get a lot of stuff for a long time. So, um, yeah, I just saw the, I was just watching the ball, um, make sure I got a good jump. And then, you know, as soon as I land, you got to go because the, the kickers get the ball off pretty fast. So it was just good timing and I was able to get the block. How is it different for you? Uh, I don't think it's much different, honestly. Um, you know, my process is going to stay the same. You know, when I first got in the league, my goal was always to prepare as if I'm the starter. So. 
not much of a change. Um, be ready to go if I'm called on and, and uh, pumped to play if I get to. Do you feel more pressure because where this team is at three and five? Um, do I feel more pressure because uh, no, I, I would say, you know, there's there's always pressure in the NFL at the quarterback position to perform no matter what the record is. So, um, you know, if I'm called upon, then um, there'll be pressure and, and I got to handle that and I got to do a good job so we can win a football game. Sean, you, you popped up on the injury report a couple weeks back. Um, are you, how are you doing physically? I'm good. Yeah. Fully healthy. No, no issues. Uh, in good health. And you were sort of. Sorry if this was asked before I walked up, but um, you've been in the situation where you're repping a lot in training camp this summer. You obviously never want this situation to happen to a teammate, but in terms of that extra preparation, that extra rapport, including with new players such as Allen Robinson. Yeah, I think that's great. I think uh, when I was afforded that opportunity in training camp, it was good to get with the ones, get those reps against our ones defense um, with our starters and just getting a rhythm with some of these guys, the receivers. So those reps will be good for us um, if I'm called upon. and. Uh, and which, which will be positive. Does that make tomorrow even more important for you if you do play? Because Sean explained today was a walkthrough because of the injuries. I imagine you probably would have wanted not to have a walkthrough. Yeah, no, I mean, um, you know, the, the plus of a walkthrough is you get a bunch of reps. So you get a bunch of mental reps and then we'll get on the grass tomorrow to get those physical things done. So um, I'm just taking it day by day, preparing as if I'm going to have to play and then just waiting to hear from training staff from the coaches on, on how things shake out. So, John, I think your first career start was in Arizona. Yes. Uh, what do you remember the most from that game? Um, it, was a, it was a big game. Obviously, you know, as an undrafted player, these, these games mean a lot. And uh, I was just glad we were able to get a win, get in the playoffs. Um, but, you know, it was my first career start, and it was a good one, good memory. The, the game against Seattle, the following week, um, Sean said in hindsight he, didn't, he wouldn't have ran you on that design run. Um, but when you're going through this type of, of scenario and the potential of your playing, do you kind of make it clear to them that you'd like everything to be on the table? Yeah, yeah I want to win the game. So it's not a uh, – I'm uh, I'm going to compete to the best of my ability and do everything I can to win. So if that takes – if that means running or that means throwing, or whatever they ask me to do, I'm going to do it. Is, is there, were there any signs to you uh, with Matthew during the game of him being woozy or kind of suffering some concussion effects? Um, I did not – directly notice anything. Um, so I would defer to him. I don't know if, if he did or, or when that came up. But there was, no, was there at any point in that game where you told to get ready or you might need to be to go in? Um, I was I was not. I mean, you, um, you've taken people through your preparation before in this regard, but um, how does that change, I guess, um, especially when the quarterback being in the concussion protocol, the starter can't maybe be around as much? So the way I, I try and schedule my day is that it doesn't change much. Um, you know, if I don't know how practice will shake out tomorrow, um, if Matthew practices or if, I, if he doesn't, the one difference would be I'd be getting the reps. Um, but other than that, my preparation is mostly going to be the same.